I want to congratulate the Toronto Raptors for playing a great game as a team today. I want to give credit to Van Vliet. I want to give credit to Gasol. I want to give credit to Powell. I want to give credit to Kyle Lowry. And I want to give credit to Ibaka. All these guys showed up and played out at home in a crucial game for it to tie the series. Kawhi Leonard, your best player, was injured throughout the game. You know he's dealing with this leg injury. It was clear out there. He struggled at times. To just go up the court. You know, every time he fell down, he had to stay down. And he was slow getting up. I mean, Kawhi Leonard, he shot relatively consistent. He was 5 of, I'm no, sorry, he was 6 of 13 from the field. He got 19 points. But, you know, it wasn't a Kawhi Leonard that took over, you know, as we're used to. And he didn't really need to take over. Because when their best player was injured, the team responded. Down 2-1 two, down two in the series, they knew they had to tie it up. And with your best player injured, they stepped up and they showed up. I got to give complete credit to these guys. I did not think they were going to show up the way they were going to. I expected them to win the game, but I did not expect them to blow out the Bucks the way they did. I think I had them winning this by like 12 points. They won it by like, um, what was it? 18. They won the game by 18. It was 120 to 102. So I did not expect them to get this great, especially in that second half, man. They took the game over. Now for the Bucks. Giannis and Middleton showed, man, Middleton, bruh, he needs to bring this intensity to game five. He was hitting everything you gave him. He was keeping them alive at some point. When Giannis was on the bench, Middleton was trying to keep them in this game. So Giannis played well, Middleton played well, and also, by the way, Giannis, these free throws, man, you can... <laughs> You, you, got, you, you cannot be airballing a free throw in back-to-back -back games. And he was 6 of 10 for the free throw line. The crowd of Toronto think they were getting it. Drake was out there just mocking this dude. By the way, Drake, sit down, bro. Like, it's like you over here in Raptors games just getting loud, walking all over. Just sit down, bro, because I don't want you to jinx this team. Just sit down and enjoy the game, man. We got to deal with this other people. You know, when freaking Jay-Z shows up to games, he's sitting there. He's okay. He ain't out here wilding. Then again, he's Okay, let me just stop, but like, Drake, just cool off, but, um, yeah, the Bucks, Giannis, you gotta, you can't come out here and be missing free throws like that, those are crucial free throws, the team as a whole, they were missing a lot of free throws, even Milton was missing free throws, they gotta be careful on that, next, man, they gotta bring a better level of intensity, they're gonna be at home for game five, so they're gonna have to bring a much bigger intensity, and their bench is gonna have to produce, because Toronto's bench showed up today, and I think they put up, what, 45, 47 points in this game, if you're getting 40 plus points from the Toronto Raptors bench, series is over, the Raptors will win this, the Bucks bench didn't really show up today, and that was a real shame, because they, they, in the game they needed to show up, they did not show up, Brooke Lopez was relatively quiet, it just, it, it wasn't going for the Miritich was also relatively, he wasn't, wasn't really, a lot of his shots he was not hitting it, he was forcing a lot of shots, he was getting fouls, it was not good, the Bucks in that second half really struggled, and they tried to keep this game close, but the bench of the Toronto Raptors were just going off. You know this is home cooking. When Kyle Lowry hits a deep three and Van Vliet hits a deep three that just bounces like from the glass to the rim and then just bounces and go back in. And then also the fouls call. So it's a four point play. And it's like, bro, you know this is some home cooking right there. Because Van Vliet's not making a shot like that. And Kyle Lowry hitting a thick deep three like that, bro, he ain't doing that on the road. Then again, he did hit a lot of good threes in game one, but... That's a different case. Anyway, well done for the Toronto Raptors. Your, your main guy, your best player was injured in this game, and you guys stepped up, responded, and tied this game. You got to come out with the same intensity. The question is going to be, whose bench is going to show up in game five? Because everything's going according to plan so far. For me, I picked the Raptors to win the series in six. I had the Bucks completely taken over in the first two games and now classing the Raptors. Then I had the Raptors coming home and doing the exact same. I had both teams defending home court. Then in game five, I believe that the Raptors will find a way to steal one on the road, come back to Toronto, and they'll close out the series and head off to the NBA Finals. That's how I predicted it. But game five is going to come down to the bench. And if both benches cannot show up, wh whoever bench doesn't show up, that team's going to lose. Because the starters are going to do what the starters are going to do. And you know, when it comes to both both starters, they, you know, they're going to have guys like Brock didn't, like he didn't show up. Well, he's not. Them. But yeah, I'm just saying like, if the starters for the Bucks don't show up, the Raptors are going to win this game on the road. If the Raptors, especially if the Raptors, the Raptors starters, in fact, do not show up. Kyle Lowry doesn't have a game like he plays today. If Ibaka with 17 points, 15 rebounds, if he doesn't show up, if Marcus Gasol doesn't show up, 
This is a wrap in Game 5. Kawhi Leonard is still not healthy. Like, that leg injury was really hurting them in Game 4. Granted, they're going to have, you know, a little bit more time before because they got to play um, Game 5 on Thursday, but they got to be prepared. They got to be prepared. Game 5, it all comes down to this because I believe in order for the Raptors to win, they got to take Game 5. I don't want to go to a Game 7 in Milwaukee. I have confidence in them winning a Game 7, but I don't know, man. I, in Game 7... In Giannis's place, with the NBA Finals berth right there, I just can't see Giannis, who I believe is going to be the MVP. I cannot see him losing a Game 7 in his house. If they're going to lose this series, the Bucs are going to have to lose in 6. They will not lose this series in 7. I just feel that way. So, the Raptors got to win Game 5. And I'm rooting for them. I'm hoping for the best because I got them win this series in 6. Hope Kawhi gets better because they're really going to need him in Game 5. Unless they show up the way they did in Game 4. But let's be honest, that's not happening again. Anyway, that's all for me. Take care.